All right, hey guys, today we're gonna to be discussing mechanical versus electromechanical, and which one I think is better. Let's start off with the Hamilton here. The Hamilton is an eight day mechanical movement clock with a Hermley 340-020 movement. It's the most common movement for these bracket slash mantle type of clocks. However, um, going to the back, you may not see the exact same version. All right, looking at the back now, you can see that this is the Hamilton, which is basically the Hermley movement. I need to re-clean that pivot. Cause God dang, that is disgusting. But anyways, main difference you'll see is on the escapement now this is the old style escapement that they changed to a hairspring this is the or this is what they call the f true floating balance and this is something you won't see on modern day clocks anymore unless they're vintage and you really want to put or unless you want to put a vintage movement into a newer clock and that's completely up to you some pros with this movement is that there's not really much maintaining, aside from oiling and cleaning. It's easy to regulate, and it chimes, of course. But there's also some cons. If not taken care of properly, the movement can wear and it may cause your time to go ahead such as such as it being 309 about 310 to about 315. you have to try and remember every week to wind it otherwise it won't run And what I'm showing here is the winding process. You can do it in any order, but you have to make sure it's wound. And another con may be the price. Now, these are fairly made in bulk still, and they are still in production as the newer movements. But those are some of the things that I don't like because I want to make it a quick video. Now let's move on to the Revere clock. Ah, uh, yes, Revere. It has a Westminster chime and it's powered by Telecron Motors. If we open up the back, you can just see right here. This is a giant motor. You can see it's all powered by electricity. You can see the gear moving. Then if I put my phone in here. Is that gear missing a tooth? I don't think it is, but I'm not gonna worry about it. But anyways, let's talk about some pros. Let's talk about some pros. There's not really much to say about this clock, other than there's no winding, it's powered by electricity, and it hardly ever loses time, if it even does. Now there are also a bunch of cons, such as the motor can fail, thus causing the clock to not run at all. Um, some parts are only limited to Telecron and Revere Clock Company, such as these chime rods. I was informed by the owner of Telecron Time that these chime rods are known as shorties and are only available with no aftermarket parts. 
there's no backup system to this. Which, I mean, is kind of understandable because it's an old clock. This one being from 1951. <clears throat> that would have been nice to include. I've seen it in some electromechanical clocks. And last but not least, their availability. Now, from what I know, you cannot get these electromechanical clocks from anywhere else besides an antique store or Telecron Time owner's Etsy page. Um, so, it's kind of limited on options. These you can find online, brand new, at your local clock shop, <clears throat> or somewhere else. Like eBay, Mercari. There's a lot of selections on these mechanical movements. However, electronic or electric movements like this, they're kind of scarce. And sometimes they can be pretty expensive. And with that, that's going to do the video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please feel free to leave a like. If you're new around here, comment and subscribe for more. If you have any questions, please be sure to leave them in the comments. And I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. And with that, my name is Connor's Clocks, saying bye. <laughs>